Melbourne is a pretty weird city, but something you wouldn't expect to be weird would be our public transport, which is true for the most part. But on a Wednesday in late May, I decided I would check out one of the weirdest sides of our public transport, the Batman Express. Despite how it may sound, the Batman Express is not actually a singular train, but a service run by Metro Trains Melbourne, Melbourne's train operator. The express service runs along the upfield line in Melbourne's north, but unlike a regular upfield service, it only stops at four stations outside the main city centre, North Melbourne, Royal Park and Coburg, before terminating at Batman. This service is a one of a kind for the upfield line, as it is one of, if not the only regular timetable express service. Because of this, I wanted to check it out and run it for myself. So I left my house in the morning peak to catch a tram to Royal Park Station, where I would then take a train to North Melbourne and then ride on the service. So that's exactly what I did. My train from Royal Park left at around 9 o'clock and I got into North Melbourne at 12 past 9, and then I waited for around 18 minutes to catch the Batman train. So how was the experience, if you can even call it that? Well, as expected, it was just a regular passenger service, nothing special there. But I did enjoy watching the train breeze past stations at high speeds, which I had never witnessed on the upfield line before. It was pretty quiet, as there isn't that much point to the service unless you're travelling from the city to Royal Park or Coburg. Then why does the service exist if there isn't much passenger demand for it? Well, I've been told that it's so a train can get to upfield just after morning peak to run a service to the city. And they can't do this with normal service, as it's too slow, so they just have the express service. And as to why they don't run it all the way to upfield, I honestly have no clue. Now for another question. Why is the station called Batman? Despite sharing a name with a famous superhero, it doesn't have anything to do with him. The station is named after John Batman, one of the quote-unquote founders of Melbourne, and opened on the 8th of October 1889 as Bell Park, before being closed and then reopened in 1914 as Batman. In 1920, a siding that once existed for the former Lincoln Mills Knitting Works on Gaffney Street was constructed. In 1959, the current island platform was installed when the line was duplicated between Coburg and Faulkner. So that's basically all you need to know about the Batman Express service. If you want to ride the service yourself, it departs from North Melbourne about 9.30 every weekday. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe because I've got a lot of videos just like these in the works. Anyways, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.